All right, Uma Fight King. Um, this video, having to post this video, reminds me of uh, one of the Godfather movies where uh, Michael Corleone said, just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Uh, I thought I was done explaining my stance on full contact karate. But recently, as recent as, as a, an hour ago, I had a comment posed to me, and I quote, it went like this, and I quote, So let me get this right. You were saying that in order to be a top-notch UFC fighter, you have to study full contact karate. That is a comment that was posed to me. Now, I know that person was trying to be sarcastic, but I'm going to address that person once and for all and address other people who may think that way and may not want to post a comment like that out of, you know, for, in, along the sake of being polite. I have never said that full contact karate was the complete style. I never said that. What I have said and what I have tried to get across is that many people will not say the same thing about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, Muay Thai, or boxing. And Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, or bo and boxing, they are not complete either. That's why there is a need for, get it, mixed martial arts. It seems to me, though, that full contact karate and the legacy of that, and the fighters who have continually told you that they owe much to that, it seems to me that full contact karate is disregarded and it is laughed off. So what I am going to say in this video is this. And I may hurt some people's feelings. I don't mean to. But sometimes the hard line is necessary. Most of you in any walk of life, in the profession that you choose, forget fighting, the profession that you choose, most of you, whether it's doctor, lawyer, or martial artist, will never reach the level that George Rush St. Pierre has reached in mixed martial arts. And how does he enter the octagon? In a gi. Whether it's white, whether it's red, whether it's blue, or whether it's black, he enters the octagon in a gi. When you look at the listings of his qualifications, what is the first list you see? A black belt in Kyokushin Karate. That's the first listing you see. Not only does he, not only is he proud of that black belt, but he makes sure it doesn't touch the ground. He gives it ever so gently over to, uh, to the guy he gives it to because he's proud of it. Not only that, but he still practices his katas. Not only that, but he still does commercials for that brand of karate. Not only that, but in conversation, he tells you that Kyoko Shin, full contact, bare knuckle karate, is the base of what he does. Bas Rutin, another one. Bas Rutin, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever fight in mixed martial arts, credits his body punches to his study of full contact karate. Some of the most devastating body punches of anyone in the UFC heavyweight, lightweight, whatever, come from Boss Rutin or came from Boss Rutin. And he credit those body punches, his liver punches, not to boxing, not to Muay Thai, but to full contact karate. Ironically, his favorite punch that I also studied in full contact karate is, is one that I get, that I've posted. I've posted the, the ways of showing that punch, which is an uppercut done in a, in a method that full contact karate teaches where you actually lift up. Rather than just go in, you actually drop and lift up. That is one of my least popular videos. And why? Because many people have an issue with karate. They have an issue with the gi. And why? Because the only kind of karate they look at is the point karate. The karate where people are just jumping around with marshmallows on their hands. Well, that is not the karate that I've studied. That is not the karate that George St. Pierre is so proud of. And that is not the karate that Boss Rutan is so proud of. The bottom line is full contact karate is not the ultimate style. But neither is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Neither is boxing. Neither is Muay Thai. Neither is wrestling. But can you argue with George Rush St. Pierre? 
Do you think that George Russ St. Pierre will be so proud of his geese that he will get them in just about every color they are that they are available in? Do you think that George Rush Pierre, George Rush Pierre, uh, George uh, St. Pierre, George Rush St. Pierre will be so emotionally attached to something that was of no value to him, that absolutely did not help him, that played no part in making him one of the greatest, if not the greatest, mixed martial arts that ever lived? The only person who could argue with that likely would be Anderson Silva. Are you trying to say that, you know, that really he's off his rocker too? That he's giving credit to an art that really he should not give credit to? Are you saying the same thing about Boss Rutan? The bottom line is, is that I never said that full contact karate was the ultimate style. But neither is Muay Thai. Neither is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Neither is boxing. Neither is wrestling. And I have studied to a greater or lesser degree all of them also. So, no. I never said the only way to you can get to be a great fighter in the UFC or Bellator or, or any place else was if you studied full contact karate. But I did say that it has created and helped to create many of the top, top fighters of all time. Not mediocre fighters, some of the top fighters of all time. I don't just say so, they say so. So when you get the time, you look at George Russ St. Pierre. Look at his, his entrance in UFC 124, UFC 83, I believe, and UFC 94. Look at his entrances. Look at his conversations. Look at him practicing karate. Go on YouTube and look at this man practicing karate. And then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Full contact karate, if you were taught well, if you do the kind of karate that I do, and the kind of karate that Bass Rutan did, and the kind of karate that George St. Pierre does, you will know how devastating it is. It is about mixed martial arts and full contact karate for at least 82, for at least 82 high level mixed martial arts is part of their training. Uma Fight Camp, safe, calm, and train hard, train smart. See you in the next video.